which is going to be the Tampa Bay Rays playing the Toronto Blue Jays. Or Odizzi, Odorizzi on the mound versus Liriano. Liriano's a dollar thirty opens up a dollar thirty favorite for the Blue Jays. Now he's a dollar forty. Total nine and a half under fifteen. The Rays 29, 21 and 49 on the road versus a team with a winning record. Or Odorizzi, one and seven, following a quality start. One and four on the road versus the Blue Jays. Definitely not feeling any love today for the Rays. Blue Jays 10 and 1, their last 11, scoring after scoring two runs or less. I'd like to see that. And they have a bad game. They don't put the runs on the board. They bounce back the next day. 6 and 1 following a loss, which kind of shows in that same number. 15 and 7 at home. Four straight home wins for Liriano. Five straight wins overall for him. So I see some edge for Toronto. Dollar 40 favorite. Didn't pull the trigger on him today, but I definitely see some edge in that. Over has hit for the last six in Tampa Bay games, 13 and three on the road. So we're always looking to play a Tampa Bay game over on the road. And uh, they're 20 and eight to the over following a win. But why am I not there today? Or it is he, or is he on the mound? Man, I'm gonna get that name right. Under seven and two on the road, his last nine starts. So it's the only spot that Tampa Bay seems to go under on the road. So, and he's 11 and four overall. So can't play that today. The Blue Jays are 6-2-1 and one to the under their last nine overall, but Lariano has pitched in four straight overs, but six out of his last eight have gone under at home. So I can't see much love for that over, and especially when I have an under umpire behind the plate with Eric Cooper, who is 26-10-1 in his last 37 games. So I'm going to leave this game alone here today and just move us on to the next game on this board.